We're going to be palpating the muscle vastus lateralis. Like the other quadriceps, I am going to be starting at the insertion of it, which is going to be here at the tibial tuberosity of the tibia. And vastus lateralis will attach along the lateral border of the patella in this area here. So again, I'm just going to ask her to lock her knee. Good. And I'm feeling a little bit of a pull of the patella in this direction, and you can feel the tightening of that patellar ligament going down into the tibial tuberosity. Fastest lateralis is a quite a large muscle. It's basically covering the majority of the lateral thigh, and most of its origin is on the posterior aspect with a little bit wrapping around towards the front at the top. So what I want to do though is get a better estimate of how large it is. We're gonna find both its anterior and posterior borders. So the first one is gonna be rectus femoris. So in a previous video we've done this, I'm gonna have her hold her leg up in the air off the table. Good, and now I can kind of get an edge. So here's the lateral edge of rec fem. I'm gonna get her to bring her leg down a little bit, but this time she's gonna dig her heel into the table, which is a hamstring action. So then I can get the outer edge of biceps femoris right here. Good, now I'm gonna have her relax her leg down. So what I'm grabbing now is between biceps femoris and rectus femoris, this whole area here is vastus lateralis. So I'm gonna squeeze it in between my fingers and my thumb here, and I'm gonna kind of push it together, and then I'm gonna ask her to lock her knee together, and there we go, I'm getting pushed up and down with that action. Let's do that one more time. So I'm getting pushed in both directions as I'm getting lifted up and getting pushed down towards the table. So it is originating all along this lateral aspect of the linea aspera on the posterior femur. So again, go ahead and lock your knee for me. Good. So I can feel myself getting pushed down here. And as we work our way up the proximal thigh, that lateral lip turns into the gluteal tuberosity. So we can see the gluteal muscles coming in from the side. I'm gonna sink in. Again, can you lock your knee for me? Good. So gluteus maximus and vastus lateralis are both attaching to this gluteal tuberosity. We're approaching what is known as the greater trochanter of the femur, which is here. So just below that, the muscle then crosses to the anterior part of the femur just in front of that. And again, go ahead and lock your knee and I'm getting pushed off in this direction. So this is the lateral part of the intertrochanteric line. So the lateral part for vastus lateralis, and then you have vastus intermedius and finally vastus medialis. So right in this location. So we're just lateral to rectus femoris. That puts a lot of our fiber direction for this muscle kind of running on an oblique as it's running down towards the patella and the quadriceps tendon, but some of this is coming from posterior towards anterior, giving it kind of a unique fiber direction as we work our way down. The last thing I just want to point out, this is a common error that a lot of people do, is the iliotibial band runs down the lateral aspect of the leg. If you can lock your knee, but then push out into me for me in this in the abduction, so she's going to push out here, go ahead. So this right here is the iliotibial band, which means a lot of people think vastus lateralis stops at that band, but that means they're actually missing a large posterior aspect of the muscle. So please don't get confused by the IT band that's actually over top of vastus lateralis, the muscle. So make sure you've gone past that when you're grabbing the muscle belly. Just like the other two vasti, vastus lateralis is only responsible for extending the knee at the knee joint. So that's gonna conclude our palpation of vastus lateralis.